Hey, what's up, you goons? It's Jacob here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the ASICS Nova Blast for my first impressions video. <laughs> So like I said at the beginning of the video guys, this is the ASICS Nova Blast, a neutral road sh running shoe made by ASICS using their new midsole cushioning Flight Foam Blast. I would say that the shoe runs true to size, although you could maybe go down half a size if you want because um, it maybe does run a bit large, um, a 10, but there's uh, about a, th a thumbs width of room in the front, but I like that personally. Uh, moving on to weight for a men's size 9, it's going to come in at 9.5 ounces, which is pretty impressive actually for a daily trainer. And for a women's size 8, it's going to be 8.3 ounces. So this is a pretty light shoe for what it's worth um, and how much cushioning you're getting under here. And speaking of the cushioning, you got 37 millimeters of cushioning in the heel, 27 millimeters in the forefoot, creating a 10 millimeter heel to toe drop. Um, so, you know, I would definitely put this in the more highly cushioned shoes category. So probably more on the maximalist side. So if you like ground contact feel, you're probably not going to like this shoe. And also having said that, you're also probably not going to enjoy the shoe if you need a little bit of stability as a runner. So if you're, if you need a little bit of that or you're just more heavily on the stability side, you're not going to want to try the shoe. It's, uh, just so much cushioning that you, it'll, you'll feel a little unstable and, um, I don't think it'll be good for you. So definitely just a neutral road running shoe. Um, moving on to the upper, you have this nice jacquard breathable thin woven upper, um, which I would say is really good for the summer running because of how breathable it is. It kind of keeps your foot nice and cool um, during the hotter weather. Uh, moving on to lockdown over the top, I would say it's pretty good. Although I would say that down by the forefoot here, there is uh, quite a bit of uh, room. You know, it's kind of high up. So your, your foot's got room there where it's not even it's not even touching the top really um so that's like a slight small complaint that i have i kind of prefer them to be more snug on the front um so there was a little bit of slipping going on there but i think that also could have been just because i uh for one the socks i was wearing i'm gonna have to try a different pair of socks that i think will uh reduce the slipping and also i'm gonna use the runner's knot where you you know you use the last knot here to really lock in your foot and i think that that will fix that problem Moving on to the outsole, we have the high abrasion rubber that ASICS always likes to throw on their shoes. Uh, this is going to provide good durability for the shoe and also good traction. And I found that to definitely be the case. I can see the shoe lasting uh, 400 to 500 miles if I had to ballpark it. And, you know, looking at it here, you know, it looks pretty thin, the uh, material like this high abrasion rubber. But it's supposed to last a really long time. Um, and uh, also, as you can see here, there is kind of like this divot in the shoe where it kind of wraps around here. Um, this is called, a, they call it a decoupled groove design. Um, and this is supposed to provide a sort of trampoline effect for your um, ride. And I would say that it definitely did that for me. And uh, really what, what, that, what happens, what their uh, intention was, is that because of this decoupled groove design, um, you kind of have this effect where when you land, you're, it kind of goes in like this, and it, so it expands and it pops back. So when you land, then it kind of caves in, and then when you jump, when you pop back off, it kind of snaps right back up. So it's kind of like 
I hope that makes sense, but it, it's providing a trampoline effect, um, and that was their intention, and I do love that. And um, speaking of that, let's go on to the ride in the midsole. So like I said at the beginning, this is the Flight Foam Blast midsole uh, cushioning. That is a more new foam for them that they threw in this one, and I'm not even sure what else, but it's really nice. It's very bouncy, lightweight, and responsive. I would say those are the three words that really come to mind when I think about the shoe. And like I said before, the trampoline feel is definitely there, and this cushioning really enhances that feel. Um, and it's also a pretty soft cushioning. So if you really, if you really like a softer cushioning rather than uh, a firmer one, you're gonna like this shoe. And if you like a firmer one, I'm not sure if you're gonna like this. It is on the softer end of the spectrum. Um, uh, what else? Uh, rocker technology. So there is a rocker technology in the shoe, as you can see here, kind of ramps up like this. So this kind of allows you to really just roll through your stride nice and smoothly. Um, and for me, um, with my last remarks regards to the midsole and ride, I would uh, I really want to take this out on a faster run because today I just did five and a half at about 7.15 pace. Um, but I can really see this shoe coming to life, especially at the faster speed. So I definitely want to take this out on like a tempo run or a long run where the pace is a little faster. Um, so for my you know final thoughts, for me, this is going to be a daily trainer that I uh, particularly levitate towards on those longer days where I want to, you know, treat the legs to like a nice soft cushioning and a lot of it so that, you know, my legs feel fresher the next day and uh, more recovered. So this is definitely going to be more of a long run shoe for me. And I can see myself even taking this out on longer tempo runs, you know, maybe even like a 10 mile tempo where you're going steady state, like six minute pace or something like that. So like a faster pace. Um, and, uh, the last thing I want to say about the shoe is that, uh, the price it's 130 on runningwarehouse.com. So I would say that that's a very good deal for what you're getting here. You're getting pretty much a, a maximally cushioned shoe, um, that normally on the market, they're about 150, 160, and you're getting it for 130. So this shoe is honestly like, I would probably pay 140, 150 for the shoe, but they said this thing's 130 guys, really good deal. Um, having said that, that are, that is my thoughts on this Asics Nova Blast shoe. And, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell. So you can see when any new videos are coming up on my channel. Having said that guys, I hope you all have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day.